people get a sort of misconception that it's just, you know, like we said, curtain, curtains, carpets, you know, is uh, soft finishings, but it's not. It's, it's the whole sort of overview of how we use these materials, how they juxtapose to one another. I look at the hotels that we have refurbished and repositioned. All of them come, F. Anthony is the first thing we look at. As a brand creator, um, we're actually dealing with that digital space first. So the expectation when you come into the store is, you've got me off my couch, I'm coming in to experience your space, so I really have that expectation that you're gonna wow me. Design's all about depth and creating a, a story and a narrative with it. It's all about how you use that to express your, your ideas. And I think, you know, the ff &E component is integral to everything we do. Once you start a project, you have to really dig and you have to listen to the requirements. You have to do the research, like the exercise yourself, in order to ensure that you derive the story from like the surroundings, from the brand, to create a genuine story for the project that will be uh, that your design will evolve about it. Having a strong narrative is very crucial to any brand, to any space. And then you also need to make sure that all of your FFE, all of your accessories, your finishes, textures, colors, everything speaks to that story and brings it to life. The thing that I don't like is that when you are designing a space, you are on a shopping quest, right? So you go to buy the fancy chair, the fancy lighting, the fancy wall treatment, and eventually you put everything in one place and you look, the place looks nice, but the creativity is missing because you are just using fancy brands and names here and there put in one place. So for us, in order to create something really unique for our brands and our retailers, it's key for us to be able to um, use suppliers who have that customization capability. You know, we have a branding team and a graphic design department that is creating beautiful patterns for us, bespoke customized um, graphic elements, and we like to interject that into the design. If I look back maybe 10 years ago, we just didn't have the options locally to be able to procure from our local environment. I think that's for a couple of reasons. I think basically we, we're becoming a more important market, which means that the suppliers and the brands are looking at us um, as an important revenue stream for them, which means that they're bringing their expertise and giving us the options that we need. Design without a successful FFNE selections and successful FFNE uh, details, it, it will not succeed, basically. I think they both work together hand in hand. So it starts to journey with you when you're space planning, when you're designing or creating your, your sort of uh, the conceptual ideation of, of that. You're already thinking about these textures and layers and that's brought through FFNE. So for 25 hours, FFNE was a crucial part of the design. It wasn't just about layering the pieces or filling the space. It was part of the story. It was the core of the story, actually, because all of the pieces, they tell the story of 25 hours. They speak to the guests, and whenever a guest sits on a chair or works on a table, they know that this is part of the bigger story. For Izzel, I mean, this was a really interesting project because it's a very tone-on-tone -tone, um, and looks very monolithic, you know, jointless, and. Um, and quite beautiful aesthetically. But uh, at the end of the day, what was really important for that client was to get in that genuine, authentic feel. Um, and we did look at local options in doing micro cement and epoxy and things like that. But uh, she actually felt like it was quite important to her and to her brand to bring in people who could actually traditionally carry out the Tadlac ap application. So interesting for us to work with a local contractor, but have in a specialist um, tiling company and Tadlac specialist from Morocco coming in to actually execute the, the works. With, with that specific project with M Fuego, it, it was FF and he was the project. I think that was the instigator for everything then to follow. So, you know, without that component, there probably wouldn't have been anything relative in that space. So I think that created the story, that created the narrative. Uh, when the client briefed us about the project and he said he doesn't want anything that looks like uh, a man-made, so that is we cannot go to a supplier and choose FFNE. Everything should be bespoke. It should be fit in the place and, and, and should be very organic. The brief was that the place is like coming from an interstellar, from uh, a universe beyond our known universe. That's really a challenge us to 
to think differently about this project because it's not something that you just like open a catalog or open your archive and start like choosing materials and finishes. I have high traffic projects, you know, hundreds of people, thousands of people a week would be traveling through our spaces. And so at the end of the day, selecting the right suppliers to work with, um, choosing FFNE that is actually going to withstand time and maintenance and cleaning. Um, this is key, you know, because at the end of the day, our design is really tested um, and judged based on what we have actually specified for the project. <music>